Hey there, my name is Fusonis and welcome back to Pixarok. So you want to know how to easily tame creatures, what are easy methods to tame creatures? Well, I'm gonna show you them in this video. So let's get started. Before you go out there taming something, you need to prepare yourself. It doesn't matter if you want to tame a dodo or a giant T-Rex over here. You really need to be prepared. And for the carnage force especially because you need to put them to sleep. And how to do that? You can use several things for it. You can use the wooden stick to knock creatures out. And the ingram for this is being learned by default. So as soon as you spawn in the game you already know how to make this. Just gather the resources for it and you can craft it. Once you reach level 10, learn the new weapon, the slingshot, and knock creatures out with it. At level 15 you can unlock the engram for the bow, and at level 35 you can unlock the engram for the crossbow. And at level 57 the long neck rifle. And you need to make use of special ammo, except for the slingshot that uses just normal flint. For the bows you need to have the sleepy arrows that you learn at level 15, the sleepy potions that you see here, you can use them on the creatures to keep them asleep. For the long neck rival, you need to make use of sleepy dots that you learn at level 60. But that's not all. For the magic creatures, you need to make use of the magic sleepy arrow. You learn that one at level 20. They are only effective against magic creatures and not versus normal creatures or bosses. Gathering berries is also part of preparing for taming. Because you need narco berries to keep creatures asleep. Whether you use them manually as a berry or you make sleeping potions by that, that's all up to you. But you also need them to make sleepy arrows. And for the herbivores of course you also need berries. To make the sleepy potion you need to have the crucible ready or the mortar and pestle. The crucible is being learned at the magic skill and you need to be level 39 for that. And early in the game you can learn the mortar and pestle and that is a primitive skill at level 10. Once you have made your mortar and pestle place it down and access the inventory. If you have the stuff in your inventory for the sleepy potion, so you need two narco berries for one sleepy potion and one carrion. Carrion is this rotten meat. Just click on it and you will craft it. And if you want to get the magic berries, you need to go to the magic forest. The magic forest you can recognize about those trees and also about the blue color blocks. And the magic berries you can get by harvesting those small bushes that you see here. And the mage weave bark you can get if you chop down the trees in the magic forest. Be sure to keep an eye out once you adventure into the magic forest because there are a lot of dangers. There are dangerous plants, dangerous creatures that will easily kill you. So you want to tame a raptor or something else. A nice thing is what you can do is stand on a cliff like this and then the creature cannot reach you. So uh, let's try that out shall we. So once you hit the raptor, as you can see, that one just runs away. So that is annoying and sometimes they come towards you and they don't run away. But as soon as they get high torpor, they run away as well. So that is not cool and not handy at all. So a better way is to trap the creatures. So let's dig a hole and let's see how that will work. Be sure to have your hole at least 3 or 4 uh, blocks deep. Because otherwise the creatures can still escape, especially the bigger ones. Once you have the hole ready, you just need to lure the creature in. So jump over it and yes, it is in. So now you can just easily shoot it down, drink it down and tame it. So it is almost down I guess because it is starting to run away. But maybe not. Yeah, there it is. So then you go to it and then you put the meat in it. And once the food is going down enough, it will start to eat. And as soon as it will start to eat, you will see the taming process. And once the bar is full, your tame is complete. But for Sonus, taming a raptor in the small hole was quite easy, it was not that hard. But what about the T-Rex or something like that? How do we tame those? Well, you can make use of the natural surroundings like a temple area where it is flat over here. Or you can do it somewhere else. So for example right over here you can do it also. And what you need to do is you need to make a trap. And how to build a trap? Well, you're gonna build a trap with pillars. Just make pillars out of dirt blocks. Dirt blocks are the easiest blocks that you can gather and you can use any material but yeah the creatures don't destroy any of the blocks so dirt blocks are, are really cheap material. And uh, yeah what you need to do is make them high enough. For T-Rex the pillars need to be 4 blocks high but you can make them higher if you want to be safe enough that they don't glitch out. Okay you got your trap of pillars ready? Well almost then. Is it high enough? Is it big enough? This is big enough for a T-Rex, it is in a circle, you can make it in a square or a rectangle, it's all up to you. For smaller creatures you can make it smaller and just be sure that for smaller creatures the gaps between the pillars is not too wide because otherwise they will escape. 
but a gap of one block wide yeah coyotes cannot even escape so uh, that would be fine but you need to make sure that a creature can get in and how to do that you need to make stairs stairs for example for smaller creatures like this with each step being one block higher but for a t-rex it can walk up to three walls high so uh, if you make it for example just like this that would be uh, already fine it can get in so uh, i'm gonna finish it off here and see you all in a moment then and if you're in a very dangerous place you can also make a small shelter just like this made out of dirt they cannot destroy it so uh, you can use that one to shelter and then you can shoot the creature from here and there's the t-rex coming so let's go in let's go in come on quickly quickly is it in ow, 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 ow. okay yeah it is in <laughs> okay so we can shoot her from here, but we can also, for example, stay over here and she shouldn't be able to hit us. And uh, yeah, uh, nice that you uh, show us your butt, but uh, <laughs> now we can uh, shoot you down. This is a level 1 T-Rex and for a level 2 T-Rex I needed to use 35 trank darts with my primitive long neck. So be prepared to have enough trank darts with you or a lot of sleepy arrows. Just like I said, dangers are everywhere. So... Uh, Best is to stay inside of the building. And the Argentavis saw me, so uh oh 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 no 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 this is not going good. <laughs> What's going on? They shouldn't be able to hit me, but apparently once they hit you, uh they can continue on hitting you even if you're behind a wall of dirt blocks. So just look out for that and I need to make this tunnel much longer because <laughs> I died now. So if you're gonna use a safe house like me or a tunnel, just be sure that it is long enough. <laughs> Otherwise the T-Rex will kill you because it has a huge attack range. So uh, we are now back in here and now we can start shooting her again. And look at those lovely eyes. Ooh, I hit you. Oh, it is down. Yes, <laughs> we got it down. So she is nicely down and uh, yeah, I, I died a couple of times to show you uh, how not to do it. <laughs> But now she is down and now we can start taming it. So you're a low level like me, level 5. And you want to tame a Triceratops. Well, sadly you cannot do that. You need to be level 30. And I kind of understand it why. But we can tame carnivores that are out of our league. Because for example, if we check the engram. And we go to Raptor Saddle. We can learn that at level 30, but I bet we can tame a raptor at level 5. Okay, there we have a raptor. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oop, 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 oop. Come on. Oop. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh, I made it. Okay. <laughs> it is stuck at this level... What is it? Level 3? Level... Yeah, level 3. Okay, let's see if we can hit it. Come on, get closer. Um, okay, <laughs> the wooden stick is getting bounced off. Okay, I thought maybe it is barked, but as you can see, I can hit a dragonfly, so the wooden stick is not glitched out or barked at all. Yeah, we cannot hit a raptor with a wooden stick. Okay. <laughs> so then we're gonna tame it with the slingshot. So let's do this. Okay, time to speed things up a little bit, because otherwise uh, you need to wait a long time. <laughs> so there we go. And it is down. So this was only a level 3, I used about 20 flint pieces, 25 flint pieces, but it shows that you can tame a raptor at a low level. It's kind of unfair in my opinion that we can tame the carnivores at low level and we get the uh, saddles at higher level, but we cannot tame the herbivores at low level and for example get the uh, saddles also on higher level. But maybe that's because I'm used to Ox Value Vault where you can tame anything at any level. You just have to level up to get the saddles to ride it. So once you have your carnivore down, what do you need to feed it? You need to feed it meat. You can use raw meat, just a regular raw meat, but you can also use the prime meat. Uh, in this game it is called raw Thai meat. And how do you get it? You need to kill large creatures. And yes, I am in creative mode just to show you. So uh, let's kill this stego. You need to kill a stego or bigger creatures. And once you have killed it, you go to the meat block and harvest it with a pickaxe. If the pickaxe is of a higher level tier or better quality, you have a higher chance to get this rare meat. After I killed two stegos, it was the first time that I got this rare meat. And once you have this rare meat, you need to be fast to get it to your creature, because it spoils in two and a half minutes, but you can also cook it to preserve it longer. In Ark Survival Revolved, you have a thing that is called kibble. Kibble is the best thing that you can give creatures, and I have some kibble here, Sakura Air kibble. And like I said, I'm in creative mode, because I wanted to check if there is kibble in this game. Well, there is only Sakura Air kibble, 
Then I thought, well, how do you make it? Well, normally in a cooking pot or the industrial cauldron, as it is named here, it is the industrial cooker. But you cannot put eggs in the inventory. You cannot do that. You can only select the things that are here. And you need a water bag or a canteen for that. And the water bags, they are broken at the moment. So I think kibble will be a thing in the future. But for now, yeah, the carnivores you can tame with meat or the raw Thai meat. And the meat your berries over here, they work the best for the herbivores. Once you have your sleeping potions ready or you have narco berries, go to your creature and check if it is getting awake or not. You can see an unconscious bar over there. It is halfway purple. That means this one is halfway to getting awake. Over here you see the torpidity. 5500 is the max, but when it reaches zero, it will wake up. So you can give it narco berries, you can click on it, remote use, and then you see it will go up. But you can also use the sleeping potions. It is going up by about 40. So sleeping potions are the best to use, but yeah, if you have a case of emergency, you can just use the narco berries as well. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now we know everything about how to tame a creature and what kind of traps you can use. So go out there, tame something awesome and use them as Pokemon because it is fun to do. <laughs> oh, this is just so crazy. <laughs> So that's it for this video, I hope you all enjoyed, if you did a leave a like, leave any thoughts about this video or whatever in the comment below, and as always, if you haven't already and want to see more in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac, and I will see you all in the next episode, bye bye.